So you have to manage actions. The real issue is how you manage your actions. What do you do with your time? What do you do with information? And what do you do with your body and your focus relative to your priorities? That's really how you go about managing action. These are real options that you do with time and limited resources. And the real issue is not a lack of time, but a lack of clarity. Okay, That's really what it's about. I mean, how can you say that I didn't have time to do something? Especially when you, know, you might be given the same task as someone else. I mean, I hate this when students come up to me and say, I didn't have enough time to finish this assignment. Okay? And the rest of the class did. It's like, oh, I didn't know God gave you 23 hours in a day. What else is my answer? You have, everyone in the class had 24 hours. How can you tell me you didn't have enough time? I mean, that, that just, it just doesn't work for me. I mean, I, students get really upset. Once I figured out all this, it's like, what do you mean you didn't have enough time? <laughs> you know, and then we have a discussion about what time means. All right, right, TJ? We've had this discussion a little bit. The real issue is not a lack of time, but a lack of a clarity and definition about what a project really is and what the associated next steps are. That's all it is. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is get it out of your head. You need to capture and organize 100% of your stuff in a systematic manner. Okay. All right. And that applies to everything. Little stuff, big stuff, personal, professional, urgent, not urgent, everything, OK? Everything. If you don't go into this with the idea you're going to organize everything, it's as if you've organized nothing. Because you're going to still have stuff on your mind. There's still a part of your life that's out of control. And those out of control moments will affect the things that you want to control. And that's really what it's about. You've got to get in the mindset that you can actually organize everything in your life. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't just take three hours out of the day and just do whatever you want. The difference is, is you know what three hours of the day you're probably going to do it. Okay? And because you're in the zone and because there's nothing in your head, I claim that if you control everything 100% of your life, when you take the three hours, that three hours will be infinitely more relaxing than if you took a whole weekend, OK? Because there's nothing on your mind. That's the power of this. This is the beauty of this. So this is a practice exercise. I want everyone to do this. Grab a paper, a pencil, and I want you to do this here, all right? I want you to write down the project or situation that is most on your mind right now. What thing is on your mind right now? This can be personal, professional. I'm going to ask you to share it. If it's personal, you don't have to do that. If you don't want to share it, that's fine. But I'm going to ask for an example or two. So take your time. Think about this, about what you're going to do. If you're like most people, you can probably write a long list, but maybe not. I don't know. Okay, once you write that down, the next step is describe in a single written sentence your intended successful outcome for this project or situation. All right. So let's say that 
the single most uh, important thing that's on my mind right now is um, writing my thesis proposal. Okay? So if that's on your mind, what's the single next action step that you might want to do for writing your thesis proposal? Well, it might be, I need to set up a meeting with my major professor to talk about possible topics, right? Or it could be, I need to go to the library or go to Google and start looking uh, and doing my initial literature review, right? I mean, so write down what you think in a single sentence what your successful outcome for this project or situation might be, which is, of course, to get approval of your thesis by your thesis committee, right? That's a sentence. So that's what I want you to do next. And then, of course, what's the next physical action that you will take for what is on your mind? Okay, what's been demonstrated here is how you organize and create action of your stuff in your life. This is all you have to do. Okay? That's the three steps. That's one piece of the Holy Grail I just taught you. That's what you do. You now go through, and whether it's on your mind or not, you start thinking about what other stuff is in your life, what other commitments you have. And you start making a list, checking it twice. <laughs> you know, what's the intended outcome? That's the final goal. What is it exactly you're trying to do? And then writing what the next logical step is. That's all you have to do. This is not magic. All right? That's it. So does, does anyone wish to volunteer what, your, uh, what was on your mind? Anyone want to do that? Yeah, go ahead. Very good. He has a research paper that's due for a class he's taken. <laughs> yeah, that's probably on your mind, right? So what did you say is a, the intended outcome? Yeah, very good. That's actually really good. He said to um, actually finish the paper by Thanksgiving, which is about a week away, and to get a good grade, which I would prefer it would be an A or a B or something, because that is a measurable uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but very good. That's exactly, that's it, right? And so the next actionable step is to? Uh, research. research existing knowledge on the subject. Might be a little bit vague for me, um, but I don't know the topic, and maybe you'd stick the topic in there or whatever, but not, not bad, okay? That, and that's all you do. That, that's it. Next slide. <clears throat> 